Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the first war of season 21. Kenobi is facing ASR, Assassin's Reload. Uh, as you may know, these guys are our eternal rivals and every time we face each other, it's gonna be a really hard war for both of the Alliance. And yeah, um, on this first fight, I was assigned to section one, lane one. And I have to be really careful uh, when fighting this Dr. Voodoo because uh, he, when he's awakened, he activates a buff of region. So the way that it works on this node is that every time uh, the champion uh, you're facing activates a buff of regeneration, he's going to be unblockable the time he, the region is activated. So I was uh, I, I was trying to be really careful. Uh, even if he, this guy is not stubborn, um, it was going to be a really hard match because I can lose my combo using guillotine even if she is duped. I was trying to play really safe on this fight because... Uh, you know, I'm usually fuck up on when not using Quake because um, I'm. I think almost everyone that know me um, knows that I use Quake the most. So I usually end up fucking up when not using a champ that is not Quake. So um, uh, the strat here was to use my special tree uh, when he's under five percent of HP. That way I can uh, hold my combo for the next fight. And for this fight I was really dubious because I had to get True Strike uh, on Mordo or on Hit Monkey. And I was like, mm, where should I get my True Strike? Uh, here or there? I was like, hmm... On Mordo can be sketchy because I mean I have class disadvantage. He can uh, attack me and he can <laughs> he can kill me if, if he wants really. Uh, but I ended up using three hit boost, so uh, I made it. Uh, I made him uh, to evade, attack him when I parried him, and everything went really good. I ended up using my heavy to get through strike and it was really smooth. Uh, to be honest, I just used my special two and he died like nothing. Really easy. And then um, I was waiting to my friend uh, Codec to kill Manthing Miniboss because I was uh, going to do three fights and I was trying to make to make these three fights with the uh, with the only a special one boost that I have. So uh, this hit monkey after getting the true strike mission, it was really easy, bro. Uh, I I mean like 15 seconds only. <laughs> it just took me 15 seconds to kill him. And this one, this one was the hardest fight I had on this entire war. I was really um, um, nervous because I mean I have done it before. But uh, it can be really complicated when using when using Corvus because uh, you can easily fuck up and and die like this. I mean, he used his special one even when I was uh, holding my 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 defense. That way he can be a bit passive, but he didn't. So I ended up using my special three. I killed him, but. I didn't get too many power back, so I knew it was going to be really hard to uh, take down the rest of his hit points. And I was like, okay, I'm half of HP. He has now unblockable, indestructible for, from Stubborn. And I was like, mm, okay, I have to hit him to make him uh, lose that kinetic charge so he gains fury and then I can block to get rid of the indestructible and yeah that happened really good I ended up losing a lot of HP I was like okay I, I'll have to heal back again and I, I was like okay no problem I still have eight items left and yeah for this killmonger uh, it, it was a uh, uh, rank three too and 
fortunately, I still have my special one boost. I just used my SP2 when I got it, and then my SP3, and he died like nothing again, like that, like the fight when I fought Mordo. It was really, really easy, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I thought it was going to be really, really hard, but it didn't. And on the section two, I have to, I had uh, to fight uh, this lane six, and I had to fight uh, Namor. Okay, so as you can know, I already had uh, the combo with Guillotine, so it was really easy. Uh, I, I couldn't use Corvus because on this note, you can't use uh, champions that has a really, really um, damage uh, increase because Corvus is guaranteed crits, so every time I hit him, he's going to win a Fury, and when uh, the champion here gets five furies he gets unblockable so uh, guillotine was one of the best options to use against namor but i forgot that since this is a rage node the damage i can do is capped so i can i won't kill him with the special tree but i was lucky that when uh, my special tree finished the damage i did after the the direct direct damage that I did when the special three finished killed him, and I didn't lose my combo. So uh, on this fight, to be honest, I think it's just diversity uh, because I mean I ha I had true strike, so wasp can evade can't evade, and it's going to be really easy. That easy that I just I don't need to use specials to kill her. Just look, 16 hits and she died. Uh, it was really easy, to be honest. Uh, um, yeah, uh, on the last section, on section three, I had to take down three mini bosses. Okay, on the first mini boss, uh, it was Tigra. Tigra can be really sketchy too, especially when she uses her specials because it's unblockable. I almost got clipped there. And I was like, okay, I was lucky that I didn't got hit, but because if I did, I would have died, to be honest. Uh, the damage that Tigra can deal to the opponent, uh, especially when using specials, it's insane, bro. Insane. Like, you can you can easily die there with one special. It has happened before um, when I tried to, to kill her when using magic and yeah uh, this is a rage node so guillotine is one of the best options to kill uh, her and she had already three furies because the special ones that i was doing uh, was dealing too much damage anyway i ended up killing her i didn't care about uh, holding my combo because that was the last fight that i had with her and yeah uh, on the next two fights, I w I was going to use Corvus Grave, and yeah, I had True Strike. That's why I told you guys it was really important to get True Strike uh, on Mordo or on Hit Monkey. I got it, and everything else I did with Corvus, it was really easy, ex except that Nick Fury that I that he almost got me. But anyway, uh, this Spider-Man uh, was really easy. Uh, and to finish my fights, I was, I I had I had to kill this Darkhawk, and just look at this. Just look at the crits Corvus Glaive rank three can do. Just look at the damage that he does. It's insane. Uh, not counting that I was big boost. I was big boost. Uh, uh, I was lucky that I had enough time that in six hours I finished everything. Section one, section two. And section three, I finished all, so it kinda is a cheap war for me because I already had this boost in my stash, so no problem. And yeah, guys, this was all my partic my participation on this war. I hope you enjoyed. And last but not last, we had a f uh, we have a fight from Burgess. He's a uh, our new member from Kenobi, he joined us this season, he was in a Chinese uh, alliance, as you can see, it's all in Chinese, uh, you and me, we don't understand anything from that, but we love to see content, okay, uh, I haven't showed uh, any 
Pink versus Void uh, fight, boss fight. So let me try to explain a bit how this fight went. So Kaban made a change after this past season uh, to make that made um, Stubborn way easier, way way easier. Why? Because if you can pay attention on those destructible churches, those churches um, can help you out that when you evade, uh, one destructible chair will be gone, okay? Uh, and he won't activate indestructible chair. That means it's going to be way, way easier than before. That means that you can evade every time you want as long as you have those destructible charges and to be honest i i haven't seen any any fight better than this uh, i believe my my teammate from bg2 frosty q that you probably know uh, he uh, he killed uh, thing boss too and he lost like two percent too anyway uh, this fight was almost the same because my friend uh, burgess ended this fight he didn't die and he just lost like 2% by blocking hits. You may, I mean, bro, yeah, he was full boost, but just take a look how he had his fight under his control. He, he's just insane, man. I mean, he's new, but what BG3 was missing was a, a thin killer because we use it to use Omega Red versus him but after seeing some solos using Void, using Guillotine we saw that mm, okay we need a really good Void user so this was the, the answer to be honest uh, Burgess was, had this fight, <laughs> the world fight under his control and he did really really amazing to start this uh, season against uh, the top two alliance in the entire world he did amazing bro just look he's finishing this fight in two minutes and a half he had <laughs> he has like almost 100 hp he took a screenshot and yeah congrats to my uh, to my friend Burgess, to my alliance, we ended up winning this uh, first war. We started really, really good, and couldn't couldn't start better because we all know that ASR is one of the hardest alliance that we ever face. They have beaten us before, like three or four or five seasons ago. They beaten us four to two. I think or 3-2 I, I can remember but yeah 90% of the times we ended up winning against them uh, I'm glad I'm glad I'm really glad that we we started really good uh, beating ASR so after all the changes we had uh, this past season we changed like four or five people that were retiring most of them uh, retired um, because they were really bored of this game and yeah but yeah 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 we won the first war guys uh, i didn't show you the last results because i'm recording this fight uh, i uh, the, this video before the war has over so yeah uh, let me know guys if you understood uh, something <laughs> on this video uh, honestly i'm I, i'm just trying my best um it's this 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 kind of things is new to me because i know english i can type english really well but when speaking it's a bit hard for me i i'm not really used so i'm doing these videos to improve my english skills and so my english community can understand something that i'm saying and if I can help you on anything, uh, please just leave a comment. If you have any doubt about something, uh, I'm gonna do my best to let you guys know or what to do. And yeah, if you enjoy it, enjoyed it, enjoyed this video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on the notifications. And yeah, 
well guys we'll see you in the next one